All right, this video is about the just completed front drive line service that replaced the CV joints and the clevis mount on my Model X 2017. You can see the mileage. This is the chronic problem that plagues basically every Model X out there and pretty much all Model S's that are all wheel drive. All right, so here are the parts that I have. Let's take a careful look at what we have. Uh, in one box, we've got the clevis mount and the drive shaft. And in this box, we've got just the drive shaft. Now I'm guessing this is the passenger side. That's my guess. Let's look at the box here. Now this is 2021. This is the update to the original TSB that was, that was introduced in 2019. And there are new parts. I'm not sure if both of them are new, but here is, this is front left hand. So maybe this is the driver's side. I don't know. If somebody knows, let me know. You can see GKN, supplier is GKN. And print date. So this one was made, this, this the new parts were issued in, you know, produced in Mexico, issued in May, from what I understand. Let's take a look inside. It's, it's kind of heavy. It's got some length to it. And you can see two different ends, the joint, and there's a bug on there. Let's see if we can see some play here in the joints. That's what I really want to see. Let me get my glove on my other hand. All right, so these things just pop right out. Well, that one's upside down. This one's not. We've got a lot of these holding them together. All right, now let's lift this thing up. You can see it's uh, kind of stuck on that. Take that off. Now, if you know what happens with these, the angle's so severe that what happens is the the angles it needs to operate on are too much and it destroys the bearings and the races inside. The races hold the bearings. And once it a couple hard launches, it's not fixable anymore. And that's it. Oh gosh, this is I'm trying not to get my hands on here. But there's a lot of play in this part right here. I don't know if, I don't know which side's the motor side. I'm guessing this is wheel. There's a weight on this side. I don't know if this is the motor side. But there's an awful lot of flex in here. My gosh. And I'm not taking this apart, but look how flexible this is. I don't know if it should be like that. Uh, I don't know if it's that indent there is normal. Let's just take a look at it so we have a video record of all this. You hear some, some noise. I don't know if that's from the end here. Might be the end piece. I think that's making that noise. Oh. Let's see. Yeah, there's something on the end piece here. Yeah, that's that's what's making that noise. It's just this washer on the end piece. So this is left hand. I'm guessing it's driver's side. They must have put the clevis mount just in the other box and. If you notice anything about this, it's interesting, let me know here in the comments. Give me a like if this is valuable so you can see what these drive shafts look like. Remember, this is worn. This is worn beyond use. This is this was messed up within six months of me putting it on here. It's been on for two years. And this was the revised parts. This was the 2019 TSB part. Although what they replaced it with, which you didn't see, is the new 2021 part. So let's put this one back. that and I guess how we had it again this is if it's, if it's the right box that is uh, left hand let's go take a look at at the other one over here which should be the, the other part we've got a real nice sunset going I gotta hurry up so I don't lose my light it's a good recording light right now all right here's the other one it's right hand 
And if this is the one that contains, maybe it does contain the clevis mount. If it does, it's actually driver's side. Okay, I don't know. It doesn't, it's not saying anything about clevis mount. I don't see anything else in this box, but let's take a look. Let's look down here. Oh, suck it. You can see the clevis mount right there. Let's try to zoom in on this. So this one doesn't have as much information on it. Half shaft, right hand, Model X, Tesla service, Tyson's, that's where we had it done. You can see it doesn't say anything here about the clevis mount, but let's take a look at that first. This one has a lot, much more different packaging. It doesn't tell you the manufacturer either, like the other one did, right? I'm trying to pull this out without getting my hands all over. This is the clevis mount that was replaced. Gosh, this clevis mount doesn't seem bad. Not to me, anyway. Sorry, I took the glove off. Okay, like when I hit it on the ground, it's not making any kind of unusual sounds. It doesn't seem like it's excessively worn. This is supposed to hold everything tight. And it seems like it was doing its job you can see in here, you can see into the sunset, right through that thing. That's one side, that's the other. Let's try to, uh, it's hard to see. You need that light going through it to see. But you get the idea. It, it's This seems fine, actually. This part doesn't seem like it has much wear or whatever with it. And the rest of this, see how we get these out. This holds that, this holds that. And then I'm gonna put my glove on. This looks similar to, to the other side that we just saw. Let me put my glove on. All right. Now let's take this out, take a look at it. Also, look how wobbly that is. I guess it's supposed to be like that. This side's very wobbly as well. Remember the other one had one side that didn't have the weight to it. See how one side has like a weight to it? This other side was not very wobbly, but on this one it is. And if this is, if this is the driver's side, that would make sense. It seems to be worse on the driver's side. And the driver's side also is, I believe, where the clevis mount goes. I think the clevis mount just kind of goes like this and holds this thing steady so it doesn't start shaking in there when you're jabbing at the accelerator pedal. You can see this thing's got some grease coming off of it. And there's definitely some... Now this side isn't as loose as the weighted side on the other one. But this side here at the wheel... If this is the wheel side, now I don't know, let me know in the comments which side you think is attaching to the motor. If it's the side with the weight, I'm guessing it is the weight. It seems like there's like a, there's going to be a spline from the motor that's going in there, I'm guessing. That's my guess. So on this side, thank God for the glove, this would be your axle where your tire and, and your hub is going to be, it's really loose on this one for sure. And then this has got to try, the idea with this clevis now is to try to study that. You can see what was on here from the past. Let's see if I can make it. Just so you can see what was on there. And this again, this is the part from the re revive from the TSB, the initial TSB in 2019, replaced with 2021 parts. And like there was definitely grease coming off on this box. Oh. 
So that that's basically it. My worn parts. Now, in order to take a real good look at what's going on inside with the bearings and the races, we have to take these things completely apart. But at least I do have them for now. And like I said, this, these have about two years on them. I'm guessing about 70,000 miles of driving on them. And they were shot within the first six months and a couple thousand miles, they were gone. So let me know your experience with this. Check the link at the bottom of this video because it's the link if you want to participate in the potential lawsuit on this issue because this is not fixable. The only way we know to fix it is to check out my videos about lowering the car permanently and also adjusting the rear alignment when you do that. And of course you lose ground clearance when you do that and the ride is harsher. There's a trade-off. It's a no-win situation. The way it is, the way we understand it now, unless they can design some new CV joints like these that can handle the torque. Because electric vehicles are now gonna be the future as we all know, but the parts are still designed for ICE vehicles, which is not constant torque loads. Look at all this gunk, grease. Let me get the clevis. Let's not. So I guess it's just bolts. I guess the bolts. I guess they reuse the bolts. If they go down there like that, something. Anyway, that's it. Hopefully you got some value out of this video. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. Really appreciate it. I'm gonna put these into storage. Or I will keep them. Bye. And this is the other side. Let's take a look at this. I want to get this label, make sure I have the record of it so you can see what it says. This is on the old parts that came off the car from the original TSP 2019. That's it for a smaller box left hand. Now, I'm guessing that's when you're looking at the car, it's on your left passenger side. Why doesn't it just say driver and passenger? Left hand drive. Well, left hand drive is steering wheel on the passenger side. Of the, who knows?